What's going on guys, it's me Kill back with another video. And in today's video I'm back doing another Pet the Mega. So I wasn't planning on doing a Pet the Mega today. I was actually planning on doing a Storm Quick Match, but then I ended up missing the quick match. So I was like, okay, I'll just do some ranked PvP on my death. But then I couldn't get anybody in queue, so I'm resorting I'm going to the last resort and I'm doing another Pet the Mega. But also I do want to know what you guys think about this. I have an idea maybe just like doing instead of doing like these pet the megas like separate videos i could just make like videos like longer videos of me just training up a bunch of pets from like baby the mega so like me training up different pets and like you guys can watch them fail even before mega so i don't know if you guys are interested in that it would be kind of a longer video and it would probably be mostly during double pet xps because then i can like train multiple pets quickly but I could probably even do some when it's not double pet XP since I do have a decent amount of snacks. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think about that. But for now, I'm just going to keep it to just like one pet per video. But anyways, I'm back on my balance. And today's pet, I have a Pain Giver Proof Ice Ward and Infal pet. This pet did already kind of fail because I didn't want Pain Giver. I wanted a uh, Balance Dealer instead of Pain Giver. But honestly, I'm just thinking about it and 3 damage isn't really... Well, actually, it would be four because, actually, no, I don't think this is a ten dealer pet. No, this isn't a ten dealer pet. So honestly, it would only be three damage. So honestly, an extra three damage isn't that much. So I'm actually willing to take this if it doesn't fail at Mega. But yeah, right now I really want to get Fire Ward. I if I get Fire Ward, I'm probably gonna sock it on Brace Defy, and. If I get like balance dealer or something, because I know balance dealer is still in the pool. So if I get balance dealer, I'll have to take it up to ultra and socket a fire ward. So honestly, I don't know, because I kind of really want to put on brace to fight just because I feel like I would need that extra 5% resist if I'm going to be doing balance PvP. But yeah, I don't really know. I feel like I don't want to get balance dealer anymore since it already got pain giver. So hopefully it just gets like fire ward. Honestly, I'd be okay with defy too because I could just take it up to ultra and sock it on fire ward. But yeah, I'm just going to train up the pet. Uh, it's one game away. I'm pretty sure I can just use a golden wheat bread. I'm running so low on fancy yogurt. I was at like 500 of these and now I'm down to literally 100. So I wasted so many fancy yogurts. I still do have a lot of the other mega snacks, so I'm honestly still fine. Plus, I could just harvest all of my uh, couch potatoes at any time because I haven't really been doing that lately. So if I ever do need more fancy yogurts, I'm probably just going to do that. But yeah, hopefully this gets fire ward. This would make this pet pretty good. But yeah, I'm going to cover up my screen and I'm going to feed the snack right now. If it's fire ward, I'm going to be really happy. Balance dealer, like I said, isn't that good. But I was actually thinking about it and I could just sock it on a brace to fly onto that. And it would be a double damage ice ward and then proof pet with uh oh no yeah i said ice ward but yeah then i would be losing a lot of resist to fire so i probably don't really want that but yeah i'm just gonna look at my stats hopefully okay it's not fire ward what wait is it it might be defy i think that's defy okay i yeah that's fine i mean I, I'm losing out on brace, but like I can just take it up to ultra and put on fire ward, so it's not that bad. Now I have a couple pets to ultra though, which is kind of annoying because I have this one, plus I have no, not that one. What else? Um, this one I have this one to ultra, and I could put on balance dealer, which is honestly still really good. But I do want to have that option if I want to have an infal pet. And then what else? I know I have, yeah, this one. The brown spider from the last video. I still have to alter this so that I can put on life assailant. But yeah, honestly, I think I am going to wait till double pet XP because I have too many pets to ultra. It'll take too much energy. Like, it'll take too many energy elixirs. Plus, it'll take too many of my snacks. So I'm definitely going to wait till it's uh, double pet XP. But yeah, I'm going to end the video off here. This wasn't really that bad of a pet. I'm honestly going to take it. I just have to bring up the Ultra and Sock on Fire Ward, which won't be that bad. 
but also I want you guys to let me know if you guys want to see me do like longer pet videos and training multiple pets from even like baby to mega and even showing you what pets I hatch with in the kiosk so it would just be a bunch of multiple pets and you guys would probably just see me fail a bunch of pets at like adult and ancient because that happens so often like I've been getting enfeeble a lot lately and what else I know there's something else I've been this has been a really sticky talent that wasn't enfeeble but I can't get it off the top of my head but yeah honestly just let me know what you guys think about that down below and yeah if you enjoyed the video then leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time